once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. I have been promising to make you guys this video for mm, more than a few days now, but here it is. Advanced plane usage. Um, so, I guess to start things off here, let's take a look at my home base. Yes, baby, that's right. So, the basics of plane usage have been covered in other videos, so I'm not going to go over that in extreme detail. Um, I will link to that video down below in the comment section for you guys. Uh, but the generic overview is that planes enter based on the total map size, not just what you've cleared, the total map size. So the, the basic concept being that if you draw a line up and down and side to side, It'll tell you exactly where the center of the base is. Um, now, cheating with planes, as I so called it, it's not really cheating with planes. Where are planes best used? Uh, in order to keep your troops progressing forward. The one thing that will actually hold you up and prevent you from getting 100% victory is going to be the troop spawning. Um, how is that best used? Well, you want to get your troops that are all in a row and allowed to do a strafe run in order to kill as many troops as possible. Uh, planes do more damage to heavy units than they do to fusiliers or small units. So those are the two things that you need to note. So as an example here, if we delete that, if I had a whole bunch of troops of mine that were coming along here and they were all nicely in a row, you would want to go ahead and drop a plane in order to get the plane to come from this direction and nail all of them. Now, how you can manipulate that entrance point, which is really what we're talking about, that's, that's the cheat or the hack or whatever you want to call it, is the manipulation of the entrance point. So, by that what I mean is where you touch on the screen will determine where the planes actually come in from. Planes are best utilized, like I said, against enemy troops in order to keep your troops moving forward and to defend them. So say for instance, uh, something attacking healing guards, because I've never had that happen, right? Uh, or artillery. You would want to throw planes in there in order to keep those things alive. How you best manipulate that though, is by not actually touching on buildings. Um, let's see if I actually have, oh no, we're just going to minimize that. No, we're not. I don't want to draw on the screen. There it is. Okay, so let's see here. I should be able to get a training blessing. Um, yeah, let's get a training blessing. And that will allow us to actually train, finish training our troops for a lot cheaper than we would normally. Uh, there's a tip. Now we've got three planes. Let's go ahead and pick a fight with somebody. Um, now obviously this isn't a war attack. Uh, this is just a, a, going to be a standard attack, but I'm going to try my very best to show you guys the best usage of planes. This looks like a nice easy base, so I'm going to start off by doing a quick drop in order to get that quick victory. Taking a quick scout Fairly tight up here. Looks like all of his traps have been popped. I'll do a quick drop. I'm going to go with my archers first, followed by my artillery, supply carts, and then my heavies. Now, that should, I hope, allow my troops to nail that. And so far, I haven't needed my planes. I'm not sure. This isn't necessarily a base that I would need my planes. We're going to get them to all pop right in there in order to get that quick victory, we hope. Now we've got a spinny wheel of death. Those seem to be fairly frequent. I don't want my troops going in this direction, so I'm going to wait and I want my planes to come in from. Oh, see, I wanted my planes to come in from this side over here, but in order to do that, let's just wait. Let's see if we can rally them all over here. 
So see how they're on the, you see where I touched there? It was on within that little triangular quadrant in order to force my planes to come in from that one side at that specific angle. Now again, I could do the same thing here. I could go from this side and I touched in the specific quadrant knowing that my planes would actually target those little foot soldiers. Let's get my guys to go out here in hopes that they move in. And again down here, I can go ahead and get my plane to come in from the uh, gate side. Hopefully we'll have a few more few more things that actually allow us to show you guys how this how this works. One zero. We just want them to speed up there. I am going to go ahead and take out that last little mortar there. Fire upon my poor guys. And for the record, planes do not actually suppress entirely uh, things from spawning or from firing. The suppression rate of planes is actually 66%. But it is based on where you touch. So if you've watched this replay, I would suggest that you watch it again. You can touch on various places, various locations on the screen in order to manipulate where your planes are coming in from. Um, that is important when you're trying to do a war attack in order to avoid air defenses or sniper towers, things of that nature. Not sniper towers, because sniper towers are not a thing. Towers, just regular towers. And there is minimal losses there. I lost four foot soldiers there, which makes me very happy. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can do one more here for you guys. Just as an example, I've got my three planes, I've got my full army. Not using any tactics. I do have tactics available. Again, this is another enlightened base, but we'll take a quick scout. Um, I am going to want to get into the heart of this one. And I think first off, we're going to we'll come in right there. We'll start with my little footies. Artillery, heavies, supply trucks last. And who knows, I might end up just getting eaten here. So, I want my plane to come from this side. So, see what they've targeted there? And you notice that those are heavies. We can rally right in there. Oh, see, and there we go. Get these guys to come in from that direction. That certainly was a lot of guys. Um, and again, we can get these guys to come in from this side. And those ones to come in from that side still. And you see when I touch what it's going to actually target. We'll just sabotage that real quick. Let's see if we can't get my guys all moving. Maybe like they're a team. I've already lost one. Not such a big deal. I've missed the quick victory there, I think. Uh, unless they take that out right quick. There it is. 50% quick victory. Um, more plane usage. Now we are primarily through this base. If there's any outliers, you can actually use your planes to actually kill the outlying defensive buildings. Um, but if they're attacked, then you don't know which direction they're actually going to go. Let's get you guys all there to take out that general. Just quick like a rabbit. Don't step on that. Get off. <laughs> it's okay. Just leave them. No. Yeah. Good morning, sir. He's standing on the baby gate. Now, on the Daddy, other side here... As well with the strafe run, if you have defending units that are close enough to where you are targeting, they will take that out. 
But the point more over here is to actually get your planes to enter from the side that you want. You have to be able to control where your planes are coming from. So that was from the top. So it's non-selective. You cannot select an actual building unless it's on one of those vertices. Uh, but if you want to target troops in order to destroy them, you can select where which vertice you want to actually touch in, and the planes will automatically target the troops that are coming in. I hope you guys found this useful. Uh, be sure to click like and subscribe down below. Uh, comments and suggestions always welcome for the next video. And as always, keep your sticks on the ice and have a good time.